Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you guys are great. Today we are going to talk about negotiations, lobbying, diplomatic skills, allies, enemies. I'm sure you got my point. Yes, unmoderated caucus. This is very, very important step and aspect of moral united You gain your total of concentration. You gain your great points if you are really proactive in this unmoderated caucus. Now, what is unmoderated caucus? We have discussed previously about moderate caucus, where we have all former proceedings, how to raise it, what is the total time, individuals speak it out. Now, that is a bit different than that. You get a temporary recess or with all those you can say proceeding matters all those formal aspects you get a temporary break in that okay so unmoral caucus or you can say informal caucus is just like that that the delegates get up from their seats and start lobbying there are eight major aspects i have came up upon that you need to focus while having an unmoral caucus there are plenty of that but these are the main aid that you can gain, get a great age and a great points and a great attention from entire committee and your judges as well but how we can raise your unmoderate caucus is just like the same. Let's take an example as I am a delegate of um, India. Okay, so being a delegate of India, I will raise an unmoderate caucus. So the terminology is just like the same. Okay, so the delegate of India would like to raise an unmoderate caucus with the total time of 20 minutes where the 20 minutes is usually the maximum again it's the best practice and the discretion of the chair it depends because on very some occasion very oftenly they give you half an hour when you're working on the working paper or you're working on your draft resolutions as well but the mainly aspect usually the best practice is 10 15 or 20 maximum again this discretion of the chairs how he or she will giving you a time and depends how you really you need a time um, in most of the conference in some of the occasion you define which particular uh, topic you would like to discuss in unmoderate but it's not really you can say a best practice but usually some of the people do raise it like uh, the delegate of India would like to raise an unmoderate caucus with a total time of 20 minutes to discuss XYZ issues but in general it just like unmoderate caucus for the total time of 20 minutes okay and then what really happened in this situation the delegates stand up from their uh, seats and start lobbying and negotiation now those are the eight points that I've really encouraged and request to focus on while having your unmoderate caucus we starting with plan in mind yes you should have a great plan in your mind while having your unmoderate caucus of 20 minutes you should by the day one or you can say in the very beginning you can easily understand the situation of your entire committee who is very high who is up to the committee and who is very low so you should have a proper plan in your mind to convincing the people and what topics you really want to discuss in your moderate caucus you can emphasize with uh, with the other delegates in unmoderate so you should have a proper plan before going or raising or passing your unmoderated caucus the second very important thing is identify your enemies yes while uh, lobbying or you can say during the unmoderate caucus you need to keep visiting different different blocks because in moderate caucus, unmoderate caucus sorry that you'll be scattered into a different different groups there's a chunks of a groups there's a chunks of a people are gathered according to their foreign policies according to their regional geographical location they are juggled with each other they are uh, doing like discussing the things so being a delegate you have to visit each and every block as well which is really necessary to identify your enemies so at least you have to get rid of them you have to be very much conscious and have to take care from them as well so that is very much important to identify your enemy during your unmoral caucus yes 
find your allies is just like the same so while visiting different blog or in your or welcoming the people in your blog you have to identify those delegates who is your biggest allies so at least you can work together you can create a great blog and you can lead them and you can lead rest of the committee as well okay so identify of your and allies is very important or friends of course and then look out for the neutral that is very important if I just go back I did mention there are three types of a country those who are in totally in favor those who are totally against and those who are really neutral so while making a big block or working for the block you have to look after those countries who are very much neutral stances according to the topic as well as with your foreign policies and your foreign relations as well it will really help you and making your blog very good strength in a very good strength and a powerful to have some good neutral countries because their stances will be really neutral they can either join you because if you don't approach them someone can get from that so it is very important for you then after negotiations and lobbying that is the key point for the unmoderate caucuses yes you have to keep negotiate with the people convince them lobbying them that is what we call leading the block leading the committee as well now the negotiation is basically to come up with those points with having some very huge problem for the entire international community you have to come up with a different frameworks different solutions convincing point that you can negotiate with the rest of the people either your against block your opposition block your own block try to convince them negotiate them and lobbying because wow when you start lobbying you will be created in a proper block then listen and don't interrupt that is very important listen others as well because this is how you can get their confidence as well that you, at least you are giving them a platform you are recognizing them while listening them as well don't interrupt otherwise they're gonna have a very bad impression on you that you are only talking about yourself your stances your rights but you're not hearing from them as well so please listen them and do not interrupt them wait for your turn okay show respect and calm which is just like a vice versa with the point that I've just and it's simultaneously happened yes you have to be very calm wait for your turn what usually happen what I've observed in different conferences they start shouting they start yielding they are talking about their own right so the best practice is that take the marker identify one person give them a couple of minutes tell them okay those who have those so marker though pointer they they have a right to speak in that so at least you will move on into some productivity while just shouting each other or yielding each other or just talking something really unproductive because 20 minutes are very very important for you that could come up very great consensus so stay calm do not interrupt listen others and show some respect very important and then we have lead block provide solution and framework as I said before leading block is very important from the leading block moving to the leading of the committee yes you have to write down those points that is really important to be discussed in your moderated caucus this is how you are lead the block and leading the committee as well okay I did mention some of the points how to lead in earlier in this video but while providing the solution and those points like the topics okay you're gonna ask the people okay a B C D we are going to discuss on this okay you take a I'll take B uh, someone's take C and someone other takes D we're all gonna raise it please recognize and raise your word as well so at least we get a recognition and we will put this and discuss that this is how you lead so you have to act as a diplomat you have to act as a leader as well this is something really important because you have to recognize yourself as a leader this is what the you can say beauty of the unmoderate caucus that you have learned so many things and really helps you to understand great skills in unmoderate caucus this is something really I like it and the last again act as a diplomat 
it really helps you those points that I've said to you plan in your mind respect giving chances to others listen to others do not enter become these are the quality of a being a diplomat that you hear others and put your point and emphasize on your point lobbying on them negotiate on them and really convincing on them on your stances so these are the major eight points that you have to think about that there are plenty others but these are the major eights as well that you have to think before entering to the committee before raising an unmoderate caucus i hope you like this video it was quite brief but it's really important because the unmoderate caucus is a very very important caucus that you work on that and you have to purely focus on that i hope you guys are great don't forget to like share and subscribe more united nation for skills have a good day goodbye